Hey Graphic 45ers, thanks for joining me today for this fun and simple 8 by 8 inch layout tutorial. I'm Shari Philomahala, Creative Director here at Graphic 45, and I'm going to be showing how to do this step by step as well as uh, telling you a little bit about our club G45 we just launched for 2018. So it's going to be a really fun video. Be sure to stay tuned to follow along to do this layout along with me. Uh, but first I want to tell you a little bit about Club Graphic 45. It's a brand new kit club that we're launching um, right now on January 11th where you'll be able to uh, go to your local scrapbook store and get these kits. Uh, some of the stores are going to be teaching classes along with selling the kits. And um, for those of you who aren't fortunate enough to have a local scrapbook store, we do have kits on our website as well for you to purchase there. Uh, so just hop on over to g45papers.com to uh, go ahead and pick up one of those kits. They are only while supplies last and we don't have a whole lot of them so you're going to want to take advantage of it now. If you do, uh, we're going to be doing an auto subscriber club that you can sign up for where you'll get it uh, the second Thursday of every month. Uh, your order will be processed to ship out that day. And you're going to be getting new staples, new paper collections, new project sheets with tutorials, as, long as, as well as video tutorials where you can learn how to create these projects with us. So uh, we can't wait to start this program with you and can't wait to see what you create. Go ahead and join me now for a closer look while we start this 8x8 inch layout tutorial. In this tutorial, you're going to need these Fairy Dust and Graphic 45 supplies. These are going to come in your Club G45 Volume 1 kit. You're going to need the shabby chic door plates and knobs. You're also going to need an artist trading tag and ivory. You're going to have extras of these to play with, but we're going to need one of these for this layout we're creating. You're going to need your 8x8 paper pad from Fairy Dust, as well as the chipboard and tags and pockets. So let's go ahead and get started. And you can see this is what we're going to be creating in this tutorial. It's a gorgeous 8x8 inch layout. Um, it's a great, has a great photo map that's perfect for a 4 by 6 inch vertical photo. Um, but we can show you a few ways to mix it up so you can put in different sizes of photos as well. So you want to take a peek at this. It's beautiful, simple, and elegant. In this photo you can see we've got the designer for our volume one of our Club G45, Maria Cole, who just uh, had her first baby boy, so congratulations Maria. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start creating this, this layout. So from that 8x8 inch paper pad, you're going to want to pull out the first thing that we want in there is our tiny toadstools. So we're going to want to locate that. It's towards the back of your paper pad. And again, just to go over, when you're pulling papers out of our paper pads, you want to make sure that you crease on both sides before you pull that out. And then it'll come out nice and easy. No ripping, no stress. That's what we want when we're creating, right? No stress. Want to craft our stress away um, with these paper pads. You also get some really fun templates. I just wanted to give you a peek inside those so you can see. You can just cut along and create your own pillow box tags. Lots of tags so you don't have to waste any scraps at all when you're creating with G45. So tiny toadstools. We're going to be using the purple side of this paper. So I'm going to pull out my handy dandy paper trimmer. I love this Fiskars trimmer. You can use whatever you've got at home. You can even use some scissors just to, or an X Acto knife and ruler. First thing we want to do is just take off that info strip for tiny toadstools leaving us with a nice eight by eight inch base. The next uh, thing we wanna do, this is a Simply G45 tutorial, which we always love, nice and easy. The next thing we wanna do is take our Violet Veil paper 
and I've already cut this down for you but you're gonna go ahead and take off a fourth of an inch off from the right and an eighth of an inch from the top and from the bottom once you do that you can see it gives us a nice little nice little border of purple popping out from the sides Hear all those squeaks all right so we're going to adhere this down using whatever adhesive you prefer to use I'm gonna go ahead and use my Tombow mono adhesive but look at you can see while I'm gluing this down just how beautiful this paper collection is the violet side is just popping with dimension and color and we're going to glue this onto our purple starbursts side and making sure that we're getting nice and centered we can go ahead and use our finger or your bone folder to smooth out any air bubbles in there alrighty so we've glued down our first layer next we're going to take this blue side of magic wishes it's a gorgeous paper as well you can see on the reverse side it's got some fun borders which are always great to just cut down to add sentiments onto your cards in layouts or into your mini albums as well as some fun little cut aparts but we're going to trim a fourth of an inch off the right hand side of this paper as well and three-fourths of an inch from the bottom and this just goes ahead and it goes right on top of that green just peekabooing out some of that nice border the nice part about adding layers onto this layout is it really adds some nice sturdy sturdiness to your project so I know you can also cut out a square from the center of this to keep for later if you'd like but if you want to create it like I'm doing it it's really great to add strength to your projects This gorgeous 8x8 eight eight layout could go into a frame which would be fun to showcase you can also add a little ribbon to the back side and have it as a wall hanging be great inside of a, a craft space a kids room anywhere you want to inspire magic Alrighty, so we've adhered down our magic wishes onto that page. So so far, easy peasy, and we're almost we're almost done. Next, we're gonna take our Pixie Prance page again from our 8x8 paper pad, and this is just gonna be trimmed down to 5 by 7 inches. Uh, keeping in mind that we want our fairies to be right side up. We don't want anyone to be upside down when we're gluing them. And we're just going to add some more adhesive. And we'll put that all the way to the side, leaving a nice consistent edge from both the side and top and bottom. Once we've done that, take your bone folder and get any of those air bubbles out of there beautiful so you can see if you do have a four by six inch photo you can pop this in there now and then decorate around there also if you're like me and you love instagram a lot of your photos end up being cropped already to four by four inch inches so you can use other sizes as well I would just recommend if using other sizes of photos um, to take some of that extra paper that you've got from 
your paper pad and picking something that coordinates with your photo to mat around, leaving about a quarter or an eighth of an inch of a border around there. And then you can go ahead and pop that onto your project like so as well. So these gorgeous photos are of my niece and look beautiful with this collection. We're just going to add some fun embellishments next to the side to give it a nice focal point. So we want to take an ivory ACT tag. And you've got two sets of these in your kit, so you're going to have plenty to work with. And along with that, we want to take some foam adhesive and some... I'm going to pull out a cut apart from our 8 by 8 inch paper pad. This make a wish cut apart. We're going to go ahead and cut that out to add onto this project. So let's go ahead and get started and on this. So first we're going to want to Add some foam adhesive to the reverse side of this tag. And using your scissors, wherever they go, always disappearing. We're going to trim off, trim to fit. This will give us some nice depth and dimension. I'm using some Tombow foam tape, but you're welcome to use whatever you've got in your stash. I'm going to add an extra line of adhesive, just giving it that extra pop to make sure it stays stable. And this is going to go down right there. And then I'm going to adhere on my sentiment. It reads, make a wish. Just in the lower corner of this tag. And this is just going to go flush onto that ACT tag. So it will be popped a little bit as well. If you want to add some extra stability underneath there, you can add some foam tape to that making sure that it goes through the strength of time. Alrighty, so now that we've added those on, you can do some fun and simple embellishing from the chipboard page. I popped out these two little pieces, Believe in Fairies, which is down here, and then one of these little circles with violets on there. And that's just going to go down in this bottom corner. I'm going to glue on my circle first. And because I won't want to leave space for some photos, I'm only going to add a line of adhesive on the bottom edge of this chipboard. And I'll glue that down here. This way I'll be able to slide in a photo underneath my chipboard piece when I have selected my picture. And I'm going to go ahead and use this comes from our die cut tags and pockets. And we did another project using Club G45 Volume 1 um, and these are just some of the fun pieces left over to create this simple layout and we're going to pop out this journaling piece here. Those are already die cut out for you. The pockets are already scored, so you don't have to do any of the hard work. It's just ready for you to go. And this is going to glue down right here. So you can add in your details onto your layout, all your journaling information there. And then I've got one more chipboard piece to find. Another one of these 
violets, violet circles. Just gonna just glue onto there. And then last but not least, we're gonna be putting together our shabby chic door plate. And they do come with little brads as well as a knob. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my knob through my door plate by bringing my two uh, brad arms together, creating a triangle. This, I'm just gonna push through the biggest hole on my door plate. So, and then I'll pull those legs through once I've got it in there. Nice and easy. And if you do wanna add an extra final touch, you can go ahead and take these small brads that come in the packet And we're going to put these down. Beautiful. You can see it's really giving it a nice polished look. So we've got two of the four in there. It does come with six brads. So you'll have plenty to work with. And one left to go. And then you're going to want to take some heavy duty liquid adhesive and glue this onto our layout. The thing with liquid adhesive when you're using metal is that you do want to give it time to bond to your project. So. Slide that down just a bit. Fabulous. So there you have it. An easy and simple 8 by 8 inch layout made from our club g45 kit and uh, we can't wait to see what you create with your kits be sure to share with us on instagram facebook and youtube using the hashtag club g45 and thanks so much